if you take any implementation the vendor is nothing but a software company which will implement the application to the client client can be any manufacturing unit or a trading company which will go for which will go for some application here it is oracle application it's called as erp whenever we go for implementation of erp first of all you should know what is the business of the client in the process so you have to go ahead with business process study where you have to understand the business process of the client what they are doing as a part of business an organization will do the business by having different departments what are those departments what kind of people what kind of business it is in the process they might be manufacturing or trading trading what is the difference between manufacturing and trading manufacturing means they buy raw material they maintain the inventory then they go for manufacturing the finished good item by utilizing the raw materials and components and sub or sub assemblies if they want to buy they will buy all the raw materials and keep in the store and they give those items to production in order to assemble the item in order to get the finished good in the process to buy the raw material you would require purchase department and after manufacturing like for manufacturing you should require production department in order to ma in order to maintain the machinery you should maintain maintenance department electrical department quality department warehouse department then we have after selling the item there is a service after sales we have service we have different departments an organization is nothing but set of all the departments and each department having a similar set of people so whenever the, you go for implementation you should know what are those departments and what are the departments you are concerned about i am concerned about if i am supply chain management i am concerned about sales distribution and manufacturing to some extent if you say sales order management and inventory distribution purchasing and inventory the manufacturing bills of material work in process whereas inventory is common module then we go for each department on certain days to see the actual business what they are going to do that means you have to sit with them sit in the department see how they are interacting with the customer how they are doing how they are getting the raw material how they are requesting any rejections of the materials how they are doing you have to understand what kind of business they are doing then make a note of what are the what are the, on seeing the business process on the seeing the on seeing the business you will definitely recapture your system because you are expert of oracle application that means you are perfect in order to cash make to order or procure to pay we have all these scenarios where the similar kind of business is existing how best you can map to their requirement whatever you are seeing in the business can you map to the system that's what you have to make a note in your book because ultimately after doing the business process study you have to make a document that is bp document business process document we use it we usually call it as bp80 see here all the business process you have to capture whatever you are seeing in the company we call it as business process study the phase is business process study then after business process study you have captured all the document uh, uh, all the uh, all the business process what you understood you have captured the same thing you give it to users who has explained to you the same person should review your document he should realize yes whatever i have shown he has captured 
so when he would feel that everything has been captured he will sign off when he sign off when he signs off then definitely you can move to next phase so business process study where it is a bp document based on the bp document you are going to work internally to derive the solution that means you know the business you know the requirement now business process so how best you can map for that you should know what is the present system and how they are going to map to their business you have to see and understand the old system now they are going for oracle applications where well, we have not implemented but they are using the old system let us say it can be a jd adwords it can be cbell or anything then let us see that we have some legacy systems you can see some legacy systems like equinox is a legacy system tally is a legacy system cbell legacy then jd adwords people soft all these are legacies if you are replacing with oracle oracle is the new system future system and the present system is going to be legacy system so the same business they are doing for that they are using old application what is that application how they are going to use that application you have to study and understand that's what requirement gathering what they are doing against some requirement what is that requirement how they are doing in the legacy system now they are going for future system what luxury they want why are you going for better system you would require some luxury software itself is a luxury without software they can do by maintaining the books earlier they used to do the same thing earlier there was no software but still they had, they were doing the business by maintaining the books some systems they are doing now they are going for future system expecting some comfortness some luxury you have the car but still you go for another new car why it is due to your comfort levels if you feel that your car is not sufficient and you and you are not feeling comfortable with that car then you go for a new car similarly similarly here also software itself is a luxury and it would make your life easier in this process what are the legacy system that legacy system should be replaced with a new system in this process what is the requirement how that requirement has been mapped to the legacy system you should understand the same requirement can be mapped to new system yes definitely earlier what was the system they are using that is also erp the new system is also erp erp is developed pre built by the consultants technical consultants developers functional consultants process owners business heads thoroughly they did some research and they developed this pre built product and it is readily available so if legacy system can reach to their requirement then definitely our new system should be able to reach their requirement in this process you should know what is the legacy system how that has been mapped the similar kind of process do you have in the new system at least you should have the basic system that legacy system whatever it is having that much you should have apart from that you might be having some additional features so that's what that's where you have to use effectively all the additional features and any recommendations from oracle or any standard applications to be used all these things you have to make a note and prepare a document based on the requirement definitions what are the requirement that requirement has to be mapped to application so here oracle application is meant for all the requirements the requirements kind of you know requirements will be like this i want to create i want to create a requisition requisition while creating requisition i want certain details certain fields but these fields are not sufficient i want some, i want some more then approval they will be explaining all these things i would require basically whatever the whatever i want i create a requisition and that should be approved from approved by my, my manager once it is approved it should be converted to rfqs 
and uh, they have some process business they will explain you the business process saying that requirement comes like this that has to be approved if it is approved then we consider then it has to go to negotiations because it is the first time you are buying the item in case you already bought the item from earlier suppliers then you should know who is that supplier what could be the what could be the best price if there are some more suppliers who are giving the best price compared to that previous supplier then definitely you have to negotiate with the new supplier in this process you should have rfq request for quotation you could you could request for quotations from all these suppliers you get all the quotations then compare all the quotations decide the best supplier they say all these things i'll be deciding the best supplier by negotiating so while doing the negotiation these are the things the same report i'll be sending to multiple what is the format all those things like you should take care of all the requirements how you are going to map with respect to new application you have to map to the map to the scenarios requirement definition based on their requirement we are going to map to the application once requirement has been mapped that is called solution what are the requirements have been not mapped okay if any requirement has not been mapped you couldn't find any solution in the oracle application that you have to identify as gap gap means to be fulfilled when you are going to fulfill you should go for development in this process if you go for So I told you, first we go for business process study, right? Then we go for requirement gathering, then solution design. When there is a solution, there should be a gap also. So gap analysis. Okay. Solution design, gap analysis. Now, what are the solution you have given? You have to show to them. That means you have to perform CRP. Sometimes CRP one, sometimes CRP two. Then you AT because user acceptance test because ultimately users are going to work on the application so you have to train the end users for that whatever the system you have shown to them let us make the users comfortable with the application that's where UAD where you would require the documentation like test scripts test script user manuals these are help documents because test script means way to navigate which responsibility which menu which sub menu which function where to click everything with screenshots or with navigation you have to write it so so that user whenever he is doing the practice he looks at test test script saying that whatever the test script it is showing Best than that, he will go ahead. So no need of your help at every point of time. Sometimes he is following the test test script. Still, he faces the problem. That time he will come back. He will get back to you, saying that this is the problem I am facing. Then you have to resolve. So make sure you they are comfortable after the training. So we have UAT where you are going to do the training at the same time. let them do and let them come up with some questions or queries or concerns then uat after uat users are comfortable with the system they practice it okay then they we have to build the real system that means build phase 
the build phase is nothing but where you are going to build the real system to build the real system you should have a real data that means whenever you are building the real system you should require master data what is master data what are the items they are going to use what are the customers what are the suppliers what are the categories what are the organizations so what kind of items okay what are the chart of accounts so from finance point of view chart of accounts organization structure everything you should from inventory point of view, what are the items? Items are coming under one particular category. What are the categories? What are the organizations? What are the sub-inventories? What are the locators? You should know. What are the locations? What are the flex fields? How many segments of categories? All these things we have to collect through Excel sheets only. That is master data. So, build phase where you are going to collect the master data from the user community then you are going to clean because user may give the item code by leaving two gaps before first letter then you have to trim the word that means that is how you are going to clean the excel sheet the data should be cleaned you trim all the columns okay make sure the data is perfect if you are giving two gaps what happens whenever you are querying with the first letter you won't get it you have to enter to gap how should i know where is it? There is a gap in, in between or before first letter of the item code. It's very difficult. Item code starts with A, let us say. Okay. If it is a desktop, starting with D, I have entered as gap, gap, space, space, then D. If you enter D percentage, you won't get it. You have to enter space, space, space percentage, then only you will get it. So such kind of mistakes, it is these are these are common mistakes user does, but it is your duty to correct the data before going to before giving to technical consultant. So building you are building the data, real-time data that has been given by the user community, and then clean it, prepare the masters, customer master to define the customer, customer name should be there, build to, build to ship to and what kind of customer and what kind of order type what is the location and to which distribution center is very nearby which bill to which ship to which organization like all these things we have to capture when you define the customer master similarly supplier master who is the supplier bill to ship to site and what is the location which which is nearer to you so you have to define all these suppliers because if you want to raise a purchase order supplier is required so supplier should be there in the system so that is how you are building the master data. Before loading the master data into the system, you have to configure, that means setups. That means setups. You have to do the setups. You have to do the setup then only. Before doing the setup, I told you what is the first setup that is important. Cliflex fields. When you go for supply chain management manufacturing, you have to do all those setups. Then you go for the inventory setups. Then you go complete all the manufacturing and order management and purchasing. All these modules, what are the setups you would require? Those setups to be completed. That's what we call it as configuration. Configuration build phase we call it as. Configuration build phase. You are building by loading the master data. At the same time, you are configuring the system by doing all the setups. So make sure you have done all the configuration and build all the master data has been loaded to the system. When the master lo master data has been loaded, the system is ready. So you can go for when it is built. Okay, so then you can go for go live when you go live they'll be using the new system parallelly they'll be using old system as well they can't depend on new system because they have not tested so they should feel by using the new system for certain months they should get a confidence on the new system saying that it is giving the right results then only they can stop the old system in this process, after go live, they continue to work on both the systems, both old system and new system as well. At certain point of time, they feel comfortable with the new system and they test 
all the results are accurate and we are comfortable results are fine so then you can stop the legacy system to reach to that level you would require proper solution design proper gap analysis when you go for gap analysis there is a gap such kind of i'll give an example real time example if you see a company you you might have seen our resumes model resumes in which there is one project fujera building industries fbi fujera building industries it's in middle east near to dubai fujera is an emirate there are seven emirates why i'm telling all these things you should know geographical details also because even though you are not you have not gone to on site still you have to tell them as yes, i went to on site and implemented and came back to india and then started working from offshore sometimes you have implemented a came back and you are doing the support let us say if you keep such projects the same project if you keep fujera building industries for implementation you have gone to on site implementation has gone for one year after one year came back to india but still we are supporting we are supporting for them from offshore so in this process the fujera building industries yeah while doing the implementation there is a gap what is the gap fujera building industries is having some companies some group of companies right child companies in which one factory is we have ceramic factories emirates ceramic factory fujera national quarry that is called fnc fujera national quarry then rakul factory we have different products different companies you can go to online like you can search in google you will get all the sites websites and what is their product you can see now i am taking one particular gap which is not there in the application but we have to get it for that their requirement fujera building industries is the company which is having child companies like fujera national quarry it is a quarry means there are big rocks that rock should be crushed to different metal different sizes okay you have gravel for road construction that gravel is coming from rock only the rock is coming from mountains only okay so their business is get the mount go to mountain get the big rocks and those rocks to be crushed to certain level so that i can get a certain certain measurements okay for for building a road then definitely you would require gravel with certain size i can't build road with rocks i have to crush the rock to small stones or a gravel i would require gravel here the question is that company has gone for because fujera building its industries has gone for oracle that means even fujera national quarry should use the oracle application only in this process quarry is full of dust and it is open area it is mountain area but there is a room there is a weighing machine there is a weigh bridge what is weigh bridge where trucks will be weighed that means to in order to know the weight of truck and weight of load a customer sends the truck his vehicle or our company itself like let us take i am the client i am employee i am the employee of fujera national quarry then we have our vehicles if customer orders item and is taking our vehicle is going to pay the transportation in the process he ordered the items of 10000 tons of rock in middle east you won't get the rock first of all it's not like india only fujera is having rocks because they have some mountains so for entire middle east especially in dubai uh, in dubai 
are uh, Dubai are for these for uh, UAE call it as United, uh, United Arab Emirates for entire United Arab Emirates this is the only source of rock whenever they want rock they should come to Fijian and they should come to this company like this we have they have many companies so this quarry what it does it takes big rock and crushes into different sizes sometimes client requires I mean customer requires rocks of big sizes even they sell the rocks when they load the rocks into truck they build the customer based on the weight of rock after loading the truck that truck will go to way bridge and stands on the way bridge in order to measure the weight but that weight will be having a gross weight why truck itself is having a weight plus load is having rock is also having some weight so whenever trucks comes to load the rock before that first empty truck will go to way bridge machine then stands on the way bridge then system records system records the weight of that is called net weight okay tear weight so there are different names you have to know as a part of business if you go for way bridge machine if something is going to be weighed then definitely it is going to stand on the way bridge machine then system records the weight of the machine the vehicle it comes around some tons let us say 10 tons or 5 tons okay now go that vehicle should go to the site and get the item loaded then after loading come to wave bridge machine again again you have to stand with vehicle on the wave bridge machine then take the gross weight this time it is called gross weight what is gross weight load item load plus tear weight it is called gross weight earlier you have taken the vehicle weight now you are taking gross weight gross weight minus tear weight gives the load weight that means they will easily come to know how much load we are going to sell so here the problem is they have only one system that is open area having too much you know high temperatures you know the middle east is having high temperatures so there is a closed room and they are having server and the one desktop two desktops which captures all these records like what is the gross weight what is the tear weight what is the net weight and what is the vehicle number what is the customer everything and there is one server and that person the moment vehicle comes he takes he should know who is the customer who is taking the transportation whether he has sent the vehicle or our vehicle is going to be used then it is going to load it is going to be loaded with items then it is coming back to way bridge machine i am noting down all the load weight then i am building to the customer saying that he would require sales order has been created for 10000 tons but right now he is taking one truck load one truck load of that is a 10 tons that means we are going to ship it we shipped when you ship it you can't ship 10000 tons in one truck you are going to use different trucks and different number of trucks at different dates when within one day you cannot ship 10,000 tons because you cannot produce 10,000 tons of rock in this process partially you are shipping today I am going to ship only thousand tons okay ship it for shipping 10,000 items 10,000 tons you would require different vehicles all those vehicles might be from our side or from the client side from the client customer side okay in this process first of all I should know web bridge machine they will not be using Oracle they will simply open the desktop and capture all these details but those details should come to Oracle Oracle should do the all the work 
of sales order, picking, reserving the item, reservation of the item, then shipping the item, make a delivery and invoice. That's it. The requirement is very simple. We are at site. There we don't have any Oracle access. But still, we want to capture. I want to see the customer. And to the customer, what are the sales order has been created in the Oracle that has to be visible. And based on that, customer might have got some letter, right? See, the moment customer comes, we print the sales order and give it to the customer through email. So that customer, whenever he's sending a vehicle to the driver, he is going to give such a certain documentation. In that document, sales order will be there, which has been created in Oracle. So driver comes, truck driver comes to the that particular building where one person is sitting in the Webridge machine and gives the sales order. And on seeing the sales order number system, he will open the system and tries to he tries to enter the sales order number. Similarly, immediately they will get the details. Okay, then he is going to capture all the weights, what are the fields they want. They are going to weigh, enter gross weight, tear weight, and then net weight. That simply is saving the record. That's it. This record after saving should be interfaced to Oracle database at certain point. At certain point. So that in Oracle, customer has ordered, means sales order is there, that has been booked for which quantity? For 10,000 tons of quantity. But now one vehicle has gone with 10 tons. That means 10 tons to be shipped. Means after the 10 tons you are getting, after getting the gross weight, tear weight and net weight, that has been captured in the Webridge machine, that is simple desktop. There is a server. From that server, the data should be interfaced to the Oracle database at certain point of time. When it interfaces, when it interfaces, the data goes to Oracle database, saying that this much debt, this much, you know, these many tons have been sold to customer through this vehicle. Fine. That means the sales order which has been created should be split into two lines saying that 10 tons have been shipped and remaining 9,990 tons to be shipped. How it has to be split? No, here I am going to use some concurrent request. What is the APA? What is APA? Application interface. Okay. Now, Every form, wherever you are entering the data, that is called interface. After entering your saving, then it is going to be interfaced with the database. And it waits for next action, actionable. Similarly, here, they did Webridge machine, they, they operated with Webridge machine, the data has been interfaced to Oracle and Oracle. In Oracle, the 10, 10 tons to be split. So, 10,000 line should have two lines now with 10 tons and remaining tons. But 10 tons have been shipped. So the status of the second line should be shipped or closed. Why? It is already gone. It has been shipped to the customer. Because customer has sent the vehicle, vehicle has gone to customer. That means after splitting, by using go to actions, you can split it, right? So there I am going to use a concurrent request by using the API by clicking the actions. If you go to split line, then whatever the form it is coming, that is called API. Use that API. That API will be having a form name in the back end. Identify the name, then write a query, write a package, write a join, write a and link to a concurrent request. Which does the splitting the line into two lines. And to bring the line status of 10 tons into closed, not only splitting, I have to pick release. That means, have you seen this form? Like, that means, after going to here, the sales are line to be split into two lines. Having different statuses means you have to go for release sales orders. So, where I can use the functionality of picking and shipping at a time. If you use this sales order, release sales order form, the sales order in which the lines have been split into two lines having 10,000 10, quantities means 10, 10 tons of quantity, then remaining quantity. 
and take that this is API. Okay, this form will be having a name. So that name you call this in call this form, call this API, API, then pass the parameters. What is the order number? Then you define all the setups like pixelate grouping rules and ship from everything. These are called shipping parameters, okay? And ship confirm rules, whatever it may be. All these things, what is the ship confirm rule has to be linked. Everything you have to link here. Pass the parameters. These are nothing but passing the parameters. Then go to inventory. From which sub inventory you are going to ship, from which warehouse you are going to ship, everything has to be passed. Then simply concurrent. So your interview, your concurrent program will take care of this API passing all the parameters for the respective sales order. The moment you concurrent or execute, then that's it. Lines will be shipped. Your line status becomes closed. 10 tons lines status changes to closed. All this is, you know, these are all, this is all, we call it as development. We have to write a query, write a package and call the concurrent request and make sure all the statuses are in, intact. So if you go to shipping transaction form for this particular sales order, you can see the lines are interfaced. When it is interfaced, line order, sales order line status should be closed. When the line status is closed, then in auto invoice should be raised. Auto invoice should be fired. Then invoice should be created. That's it. This is one kind of requirement because nobody is going to do on Oracle system, but still they work on WebBridge machine, how it is going to be in integrated to Oracle. This is one example of gap. So that gap to be fulfilled by making a design. What is the design? Sales order in the actions, we have to call split line functionality. Prepare a document, functional design document will be in such a manner. Saying that, take all the screenshots and navigation, everything, and saying that, this is the form, this is the API should be used to split or to split the line quantity into two, 10 and remaining 9,990 tons. Then go for release sales order form, pass the parameters by calling this APA, pass the parameters like sales order, what is the based on the, what is the rule, what is the, what are the documents to be printed, what is the pixel grouping rule, what is the ship confirm rule, everything has to be passed correctly, then click on execute. That's going to be, when it is executed, that's it lines are shipped when your lines are shipped status should be interfaced if status is not interface something has gone wrong okay that means you have to interface it and then make sure the result line status is closed if not closed we we'll run the workflow background engine after running it's closed or not if it is closed run the auto inverse all this process you have to write in a document that is called functional design document we call it as md50 then give that MD50 to technical to understand, explain to them, then let them develop. When they say it is ready, you test it. Is it happening? If it is happening, thoroughly you test, test it, then go for user acceptance test. The same thing you have to show to the user, let them do. If they feel comfortable, close it, sign off. This is one. Next one. We have in purchasing, whenever you purchase, do you know what is letter of credit? We call it as LC. What is LC? Letter of credit. What is letter of credit? You should know the business. Letter of credit is nothing but a company which is a let us say our company is manufacturing something it would require certain items from certain country let us say Dubai our manufacturing unit is in Dubai they want certain items from Italy okay from Italy we have to get it that means from Italy there is a supplier for the Dubai company this Dubai company is taking credit from the bank he approaches to bank and bank says, what do you want? I want certain item, but it is not available in this country. It should come from Italy. Okay. It's a very costly item. I cannot afford. But if you give the guarantee, if you help us, then definitely we can. We pay 
in installments bank agrees based on the their history okay so what is the cost some millions okay some millions of items you are getting many millions of worth of items okay so out of 1 million dollar dollars how much amount bank should give that has to be decided first so that is the formality of bank there is a credit history based on that they decide how much they can give for that much they should give a check or authorization letter saying that bank writes on the bank letter pad letter pad saying that so and having a seal saying that so and so customer so and so organization is our reputed customer having and and we are going to we are going to authorize to get the credit and saying that we are the guarantee for you so that is how bank gives the guarantee to the supplier on behalf of customer customer means dubai company supplier means italy company bank there is a bank from dubai not from italy this dubai bank giving a letter to dubai company saying that show this letter to the supplier get the item we are guarantee for the payment and you pay installments it is letter of credit so what was the letter has been issued from the bank that is called letter of credit so the bank company approaches bank take the letter of credit show this letter of credit to italy supplier get the item after getting the item that letter based on the letter bank pays the amount to the supplier directly based on this letter you start paying the installments to the bank it is lc in this process there is lcm landed cost management what is landed cost management in this process italy is the supplier which is sending millions of worth of items those items to be shipped through ship seashore okay that means there is a transportation of some months okay during that time there is a risk of cyclone or any disaster due to which you may lose those items in the sea for that you should pay insurance supplier takes the insurance first why because he is going to send the items to you it should come to the bay port from italy port from italy port he should pay all the insurance so that from italy port the ship reaches to the bay port after reaching to dubai port items will be dropped off from there you are responsible so supplier pays the insurance and is responsible till it items are reached to dubai once it has been reached to dubai it is your responsibility to take care of those items from there to reach your company your site you have to pay the insurance and get these items to your location that means if you observe here there is a supplier this dubai company is the company which is using oracle applications it test taken that letter of credit and reaching the supplier by raising a purchase order in the purchase order they mention some price but actually when they receive they have to pay the additional price of insurance transportation risk whatever it may be that means whatever the price you mentioned in the sub, in the purchase order that is not the actual price you are paying towards the item that means some extra you are paying to supplier or some burden you are taking like some risk you are taking by paying to the insurance companies by paying to the transportation which is not included in the item price but the moment you reach you receive this item to your site your dubai site your company location your inventory apart from the price you paid to the supplier extra charges of insurance port handling charges transportation insurance and all those the custom duty you are importing right there is a custom duty all these charges you are going to pay that means apart from item price i paid something to supplier but in addition to that we paid some extra if you are neglecting that extra you are going to be lost you are going to be you no know, you are going to lose something in 
dollars. I should recover all those dollars. How? It's simple. With what price you purchased, the price should be added with all these elements. And when it reaches to our site, it means inventory, the item cost should be updated with all these extra elements. We call it as now. When it reaches to inventory, item reaches to inventory, okay, the item cost should be updated. Means in the inventory, we have item costs. When I say item cost, if you take any item cost, let us take for, now, for one organization, if you take any item, let us take one item. If you take this item, there are, if you open this, frozen. See, there is a material cost, that is material overhead, resource cost, outside processing overhead, and unit cost. Right? These overheads are getting calculated from the all these extra costs. If you go to frozen, this is the finalized one. Okay, pending means before frozen, it will be pending. Before pending, if you want to take from any of these costs, these are different cost groups. Okay, now frozen is the final one. Let us take frozen. In the frozen one, you have material, resource, overhead outside processing unit cost when you have lcm it should have the values of outside material overhead and overhead finally whatever the material you are going to see here that is nothing but actual purchase price in the purchase order what price you are entering that will come here but overheads whatever extra you are paying in the form of lc in the form of custom duty in the form of tax in the form of insurance all together it should come to overhead finally all together it should come to unit cost if you derive this unit cost correctly that's it you are safe if you are losing those lc's or insurance cost transportation cost you are into loss for that we have landed cost management which is not standard process because Middle East is having their own landed cost management. In this process, what we did, we divided all the purchase orders into two types. One is import orders, import purchase orders. That means foreign purchase orders, local purchase orders, log LPO, IPO, imported PO. So, that is nothing but in the headers we enable in the purchase order if you open any purchase order you can see in the header form in the headers and lines we have in the headers also we have dff in the lines also we have dff when you have dff okay that dff in which one enable one field has been enabled by default we made it local po lpo but in case it is external po that means foreign po then definitely you have to change it to foreign po when it is foreign po LCM is mandatory. LCM means LCM is another form we developed where they are going to capture what is the insurance cost, what is the cost, what is the tax, what is the custom duty, what is the all these things we are going to we are going to enter. And after entering, when you save, we call the concurrent request and which will update the cost roll up. Okay, this item cost will be updated. Okay, with all the elements. So that what happens, it will make sure all these. If you open this. All these elements are captured or updated with that concurrent request. Then what happens? Cost will be derived freshly. Once it is derived, you are safe. Whenever you use this item as a part of manufacturing, this cost will be taken. So finally, the final cost will be decided based on the consumption of raw material. You are safe because you have considered your LC. You have transportation, everything apart from the purchase price. That form, that single form which has been developed, is having the moment you say after entering that is custom form having all the fields which are saying that what is uh, insurance charge what is custom duty what is transportation charge what is the lc charge all those things they are going to include then it will be rolled up in the cost finally it will be decided what is the unit cost then 
yourself for doing this activity so whenever you go for interview they will ask you have to make sure all the scenario you tell me what you developed what you did which is not there in the standard system you can you tell me one or two scenarios where you involved completely in designing the solution and testing the solution after development and deploying to the client these two examples you have to be very careful in explaining this you have any questions on these two scenarios quickly 